Hello, my name is Louisa Sullivan. Thank you for joining us. Today's session will provide some insight into an ethical dilemma involving suspected drug misuse. I'd like to introduce you to Sam, a college student who comes to the community pharmacy to collect his methylphenidate prescription. His father, John, a local psychiatrist, has prescribed this medicine to him for the past two years, but only twice a year, during the months that Sam has major exams. Both Sam and his father are regular customers and known to the pharmacist, Mary. Uh, hello, Mary. I've come to pick up my methylphenidate prescription. Hello, Sam. It's good to see you. How's school going? School is okay. I'm a bit worried about my upcoming exams. I have a lot left to study before the end of the term. Oh, that sounds stressful. Do you have a tutor to help you study? No, I don't need one. My judge is helping me make sure I'm more prepared for the exams. Uh -huh. facts of the issue at hand are, a college student is picking up a medicine that has potential for abuse. The prescribing records indicate that the medicine might not be being used for a chronic condition. Added to the fact that it's being prescribed by a family member, Mary has concerns. While methylphenidate is commonly used to treat attention deficit disorder, it can also be misused by students to help them stay awake longer to study for exams or finish assignments. Mary had seen John drop off the prescription earlier that morning, but she hadn't had a chance to speak to him since she was helping another patient at that time. She has reviewed the prescription drug monitoring program that is available for pharmacists and physicians in her area and has confirmed that there are no other supplies of this medicine or similar medicines under Sam's name. Let's discuss the ethical parameters of the issue. First, we have the principle of respect for patient autonomy. Patient autonomy means that patients have the freedom to control their own lives. Respecting individual autonomy, therefore, means enabling patients to be in control of their medical treatment. If the pharmacist approaches this scenario without being mindful of patient autonomy, the patient-pharmacist relationship may be harmed. Another parameter of ethical concern is non-malfeasance. In addition to respecting patient autonomy, the pharmacist must minimize harm to both the patient and the community. If Sam is misusing this medicine, he is at risk of harmful side effects and addiction. Sam might also be selling his medicine to classmates preparing for exams. Mary must carefully consider these potential harms to both the patient Sam and the broader community when deciding what to do. In most countries, medicines that can be misused have special legal standing as controlled substances or scheduled drugs. Pharmacists are encouraged to be mindful of the potential for misuse of medicines like opioids and amphetamines because of their addictive potential. In addition to potential personal misuse by Sam, the pharmacist must also consider the potential for Sam to be selling his medicine to his classmates, which could get him into legal trouble. If Mary hadn't seen John drop off the prescription, she should also be concerned that Sam may have taken prescription paper from his father and created a fake prescription, which is also illegal. In some countries, it is considered unethical or illegal for a healthcare professional to prescribe for a family member. For the purposes of this example, we are assuming that the dispensing of this prescription is legal and ethical as long as the family members have a valid patient-provider relationship but your considerations could change if the situation is different where you practice. Mary should consider the validity of this relationship when choosing what to do. Let's discuss some of the values involved in this scenario. Trust is an important value at the heart of the pharmacist-patient relationship. A patient may be reluctant to ask for advice or provide information if they believe that the pharmacist is not trustworthy. Compassion is also important in this scenario. Sam is clearly stressed about his upcoming exams, and he may feel that Mary is not compassionate about his mental health if she questions his use of this medicine. Okay, so let's discuss Mary's options and the implications of her choices. Option one, Mary can fill the prescription and presume that Sam is taking the medicine for a chronic medical condition. This option maintains trust and respects the patient autonomy. 
However, it does not address the potential misuse of the medicine. Option two, Mary can refuse to fill the prescription based on the intermittent fill history and confront Sam to say that she believes he is misusing the medicine for exams. This option addresses the ethical concern for drug misuse and the associated side effects, but it is, it is likely to harm the patient pharmacist relationship. Option three, Mary can gather more information from John and Sam. This may allow Mary to make a more informed decision and confirm that John has a valid patient provider relationship with Sam. This option will allow Mary to gather more information and know how best to handle this ethical dilemma. Hi, John, this is Mary from the pharmacy. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to speak with you when you stopped by earlier today. Do you have a moment to speak now? Yeah, hi, Mary, sure. How can I help you? I'm wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about Sam's methylphenidate prescription. Have you been treating him for a long time? And should he be taking this every day or just once in a while? Yeah, Sam, yeah, I've acted as Sam's mental health provider since he became an adult. Sam did try taking methylphenidate um, every day when he was much younger, but he had uh, very little appetite and he lost a lot of weight. We found out if he takes it every other day, during times when he needs to be able to focus, he can make sure he still eats well. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you for the additional information, John. Have a great day. You too, Mary. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm glad you are getting help from your dad. Does he prescribe this medicine for you? Yes, it helps me focus with my attention deficit disorder, but I prefer not taking it all the time because of the side effects. Actually, my dad is helping me a lot because he is really good at quizzing me with the flashcards that I make because it helps me stay focused while I start. Wow, that's amazing that you have such a caring father. Good luck with your upcoming exams. As you can see in this scenario, pharmacists often face complicated ethical dilemmas with medicines that have the potential to be misused. In this case, it would have been easy for Mary to conclude that Sam was misusing his medicine before she gathered more information. This scenario highlights how important it is for pharmacists to investigate any concerns that they may have before filling a prescription while avoiding offending the patient or the prescriber in that process. It also highlights the importance of building trust and developing a good relationship with patients so that they can feel comfortable explaining what is going on and the pharmacist can feel confident of providing the best care. What would you do in this situation? Please let us know in the comments.